Yo, what's up guys? This is Hunter the Red Dragon. I am here today to bring you guys my live reaction for the seventh episode of Carnival Phantasm. So let's go ahead and get into this episode. Oh. Ramen. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see what is episode Ah, okay. I know this episode, dude. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that one. <laughs> I love how they just ignored it. Arc Wade. ハルケイドは庶民の食べ物に馴染みがある。ハルケイドは庶民の食べ物に馴染みがある。ハルケイドは庶民の食べ物に馴染みがある。ハルケイドは庶民の食べ物に馴染みがある。ハルケイドは
愛情に勝る隠し味はないもんよプライスレスだにゃん Have to agree. <laughs> He's still standing there with that. An adult love story. Caster. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That's beautiful. Casta! <laughs> yeah, she did. Uh, I want to too. You can do that. He go along with it. That's the funny part about it. Sweet. Sweet. Mm. I do. <laughs> That is, that's an actual charm, a magic charm. When it actually works. Well, Halo Atorexia is a thing. ボタンや百人目のお客様です。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑>マンガ入ったトランクです。これは俺の1割です。ありがとうございます。うん。おそらくあれがキャスターのマスターだと思うんだが、ちょいとカマをかけてみる。ラジャー。突然走りに落雷だ。先進たちの男の人がよ
This damn thing keeps falling off. This fool got her a ring. Let's get married. Oh, damn. Uh, let's go to Hawaii. That just puts a smile on your face. A wise man's gift. Love fate. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell just happened? Basically, I'm guessing she was super excited that the fact that they were they just got like the the super detailed animation thing. I don't fucking know. <laughs> that was so weird. I can't even tell what the hell was going on. Uh, I enjoyed this episode. This episode was about. I guess you could say women's feelings. <laughs> okay, uh, the girls' feelings like they wanted to support their men and stuff like that. We have Arkway, of course, wanting to cook for Shiki because of the fact that Shiki always makes food for her that she always enjoys. So this girl goes out to fish for some octopus. She got no. She was going for some squid and then ended up with some octopuses. And then she attacked Chaos. And it was just a fucking, uh, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> what was with the oinking and stuff? I'm like, this is an S&M scene. I swear to God, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I did not understand that scene at all because it was just fucking weird. And then not only that, afterwards, she when she was sitting there cooking stuff, um, she could just, just like, ah, uh, this is... This is a nice change of pace. Arkway looks adorable in an apron. I'm so glad she's actually taking this shit seriously. But then when she actually shows what he's like, he's like, what the hell is going on? She's not even cooking squid. She got a big ass octopus wrapped around some type of beast. How the fuck did she attribute a beast to a fucking pig though? That was weird. <laughs> and then the fact that Nero Chaos was freaking oinking. Uh, I'm never, I'm, I'm never gonna get that image out of my head now. I thought I forgot about it, but it's back. <sighs> it's back because I had to rewatch this. And then we have the actual caster and Soichiro romance, uh, romance story. <sighs> oh my god, I enjoyed this only because it just reminded me of Hollow Atarexia, how Shiro would, how Shiro went out of his way to help. Um, to help Caster learn how to cook for Soichiro and stuff like this. That was kind of sweet in the actual um, game. But I enjoyed here. She's like, I'm actually the weak woman. And she just wants to run into Soichiro in a brace and be like all that um, adult love shit. <laughs> and it's funny as hell because of the fact that I th I'm pretty sure Soichiro would play along with it. Just because... <laughs> He's like, because that's kind of how his um, personality is. Like, he's like, I do, I might do pretty much. He does pretty much anything. She, like, she wants him to do, or she asks him. Him. She even he even did that shit in the original series. That was like the whole, basically with him. Um, with um Soichiro basically um coming in and saving her and stuff like that. Then him acting like their um relationship is acting like basically a married couple while they're staying at the um Ryodo temple. And Issei of course is just being Issei. It's just like he has some type of a hate boner towards women that I'm just like, dude, is it is it a monk thing? Because if you were if you were like the monk I knew 
you would be completely opposite, and I'm talking about Moroku. But <laughs> I do like the I enjoyed the fact that after she gave him a charm, uh, she gave Shoji Cho a charm and left. Um, Kojiro came, comes out of nowhere and just starts teasing her and shit. <laughs> and she chases his ass off of the broom. And then we see the fact that she has this like super obsession with Saber that's just like borderline fan that's like borderline fan obsession and it's hilarious because that the joke here is that in the um Hollow Autorexia series, um, Casta has this obby of like creating plastic models and also trying to dress people up and and she sees cast I mean she sees Saber as like her ultimate model. But then there's a uh, there's this funny, this really funny scene where she actually imagines dressing up Issei because Issei is always, like, even in Hollow Autorexia, Issei is kind of like a dick to her all the time because of his, like, because of his, like, brother obsession with Toy Chiro as well. So it's kind of funny as fuck. So that just reminded me of that scene, which is also funny. Like, seriously, it's a really funny scene where she does. Where she like imagines dressing up Ryudo in like this really pink frilly dress and it's it's absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna eventually get back into that visual novel. Let me finish um, the Majikoi series and I'm gonna get back to the Hollow Autorexia. I'm gonna do it way better than I had done it originally because if you guys had actually seen the videos of my Hollow Autorexia originally, bad. But when I find, I'm gonna get back into it after I'm done with the Bicycle series, and hopefully it'll be a lot better than it was back then. But yeah, it was thoroughly enjoyable, and the and of course the ending scene where Soichiro comes back after having the craziest day with that goddamn charm, well, more like the luckiest day with that goddamn charm. He actually brings back. I mean, Issei shows him her whole hobby, and he tries to say. This is her true, this is the fox's true colors. I'm like, she has a hobby. That's bad. It's bad for her to have a hobby, dude. Like, what the fuck? And so he was like, eh, it's okay. Here, I even got you a ring and we're going to, and we have a, um, and I won like an express pay to Hawaii. Express pay vacation to Hawaii. And you just see her crying because it's kind of like, because he kind of proposed to her. And then they're going to like ha spend like a honeymoon or their wedding or whatever on at Hawaii and shit like that. Yeah, it was just a sweet scene. I I just I just enjoyed all of that with Caster because I believe she definitely deserves it. She definitely does. So, anyways, guys, it's been Hunter Rejected. I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Where